I never thought I would say these words in my entire life. Ever. I never thought I would say these words. Panthers are up 2-0 in the series over the Toronto Maple Leafs. Final score of this game, 3-2. How did they do it? Let's sure talk about it. So, we have three stars of the game. Sergei Bobrovsky, well-deserved. Anton Lundell, also deserved. And Gustav Forslund, I agree. Um, so, we start off on, on pretty... On a pretty off-balanced foot because we actually gave up two goals pretty early in the game. It was Alexander Kerfoot that is um, that he scored for Toronto to make it one nothing Toronto early in the game, and I was like, okay, so this is where it's gonna be. Where they um they lead the, they they start off the game with the lead and we're then we're gonna lose the game too. Is that how it's gonna be? Turned out that wasn't meant to be. Um. So then afterwards, we actually got a penalty, and we gave up a power play call. Much like an issue, issue kind of continues, a little bit continues on over the Toronto series from the Boston series where we gave up a power play call. And this was Ryan, o o uh, Ryan O'Reilly with a power play call to make a 2 nothing Toronto. So Panthers are in trouble already. However, I didn't stress enough about it because there was so much time left. This was Boston, and yeah, I have a reason to panic. But T Toronto is a, is a different team than Boston, so I'm a little bit more, um, I'm, I would say less stress, let's put it that way. But I didn't lose faith in it because I know there was a lot of time left. And it helped. It actually helped out because we actually have a goal about six minutes after that, um, O'Reilly goal and it was and it was off of Anton Lundell who, who was a big factor in this game assisted by Sam Reinhardt first goal of the of this playoff of this postseason and he gets his first point so from the from the first period on there was um, there was really not too much left other than the fact that there was shots that could have been made and very close, really close. Bobrovsky, um, especially Sergei Bobrovsky, making some saves of the lifetime. But Sansonov, too, was making good saves as well. Um, now we go to the second, second period. 19 seconds in off the Duclair assist. Off the faceoff, not even 19 seconds in. It's our captain, Alexander Barkov. Sasha, who scores and ties the game for uh, for Florida, 2-2. So a little bit after that, we had another goal. And this was off a um, this was off a loose serene and turnover. And Kachuk was involved in the play. He got his 10th point. 10th point of the of this postseason within nine games. Nine. 10th assisted, um, 10 points. 10 points for Matthew Kachuk. And the reason why it's so significant is because, is because Matthew Kachuk, and I'm going to pull this up, and I'm going to tell you. Um, let's see here. Um, we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, basically, what it's saying is, there it is. Matthew Kachuk sets a franchise record of a, for assists in the playoff with 11. 11 assists through nine games. And the reason why it's significant, because this is 2023. Stu Barnes set the mark in 1996. And you know what happened in 1996? We made it to the Stanley Cup final. He and Barnes was only played twenty-two games. And this was this was a quote. This was this was a uh, this was quoted by Aaron Brown of the Hockey News. And 
she has worked for The Athletic, Fox Sports, CBS Sports. So, it's a credit source. Um, so, that's a, big, that's a big significant stat from Stu Barnes and Matthew Kachuk. All right, back to the goal. It was Gustav Forsling with a nice goal assisted by Anton Lundell and Matthew Kachuk. Wide open net from the left side. And ultimately, that puts the game away. But it's not over yet. Oh, this was long from over. So, one minute, six, six seconds in the second period. Three, two, we take the lead. Ultimately, that wins us the game. But it was not easy. So, in, this, in the rest of the second period, there was a lot of chances that could have been 4-2. Either we missed it wide or Samsonov was really good at saving puck as well. However, Toronto could have also tied the game as well if it wasn't for two things. Number one, actually three things. Number one, if the puck didn't hit the post and it went a different direction. Number two, Sergey freaking brick wall Bob Bobrovsky. He was in the way most of the game after the first period, especially in the third period. We'll talk about that in a little bit. And third, our defense players who played defense, even our even our um even our offensive players. So that's good news. Now, there were a couple there's one thing I will comment, and that's you know, I have unfortunately I have to talk about the referees. Referees, it felt like it was one sided from the second period up to the third period. And the reason why I said this. It's because we, we actually had a power play, or excuse me, a penalty kill from Sam Bennett, who took the, who took the uh, cross-check penalty, and by all means, that was a deserved penalty. That was a good call. However, before, before that penalty kill even happened, Carter Verhage looked like he was hooked by Ryan O'Reilly. He looked like he was hooked. No penalty. No call. But Toronto gets the benefit of a cross check -in. Now, I would have been complaining a lot more about this if we gave up the power play goal. But there was no, pen there was no power play goal. The pen it, uh, we killed off this penalty. And that gets us to the third period. However, not before they actually uh, committed a penalty. And then we go on a power play to start the third period now in the third period it's been all Sergei Bobrovsky oh my god so much for Sergei Bobrovsky third period uh, so for Bobrovsky he had I want to say I want to say about 20 saves. Now, my math could be wrong, but the reason why it was that high, because one, Toronto had a better face-off win. Number two, Toronto was applying a lot more pressure than Florida had um, in, um, in the entire game that Florida put pressure, especially in the second period. Third period, he put, not he, Toronto put a lot of pressure on Florida. And Bobrovsky was a brick wall. Now, my complaint, while Bobrovsky is doing a lot of work, he also needed help. And Florida Panthers barely gave Bobrovsky any help by, by giving him a leeway, giving him a catch of breath, and trying to score some points. Now, now, it's not to say that Samsonov wasn't good at goalie either, but most of the saves came from Bobrovsky, which is our goalie. So, if there's ever a time to score a goal, it's right now because pressure is on us now because they're applying the pressure and who's to say that the defense was going to was going to clutch through and they did just that as well um so i should point out that there was actually a scary moment that happened in the second period but um it didn't it didn't really impact the game too much and also the fact that he came back on the ice Bahura. Um, unfortunately, he uh, one of the saves from the game, and especially when the puck went wide, it actually, yeah, when the shot was off, 
It didn't just hit the net at all. It was wide. It hit up here. It hit Mahura right there. And got big cut. And he was bleeding on the ice. It was it was nasty. Uh, but thankfully he was okay because he was able to get back on the ice in the third period. So, um, speaking of injuries, I think Matthew Nice was also injured. He but he couldn't come back in the game. So I wonder if that put a big that played a big impact on the Toronto side. But regardless of that, Samsonov was making saves, much like what Bobrovsky was making saves. We didn't get. There was a situation when we get to the empty net. Blocked shots, including Matthew Kachuk's, when the puck hit the left hand. The glove was worn, but it hit the left hand. So keep an eye on Matthew Kachuk's left hand. He was a star player this one as well. He didn't win star of the game, but he was a big involvement. And you know what, Matthew Kachuk, um, I would comment, commenting back on the historic and the and the surpassing Stu Barnes, Kachuk. I Barkov is still our captain, but Matthew Kachuk is our heart, heart and soul of the Florida Panthers right now. This trade that happened in the offseason proven to be one of the best trades Florida Panthers has ever made. And because of this, we haven't had a historic playoff run like this since 1996. We never, ever had in this lifetime, my lifetime, never had the privilege to say Florida leads to to a known series. Never. And we sure as hell never won both games on the road to start off 2-0 to go home to with the 2-0 lead. Now every game is different, but this is where I get I get optimistic about it. So that's pretty good. And at the end of the game um, empty netter. Um, it could have been 4-2, but Los Arena's shot was just a little bit wide, but it didn't matter because clock winding down, and we won this game 3-2. That Gustav Forsling shot, that, that, that shot the goal to make it 3-2, turned out to be a game winner, and we won this game. 3-2 in Toronto, Canada, to go home and play again Sunday in Game 3 in Sunrise, Florida, uh, over the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that's going to do it for this video, folks. If you haven't liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our content. Miami TVG has it back. And when he does, he'll be right there with you. If you're entertainment, you deserve. This is Miami TV signing off, folks. Go Panthers. Good night, everybody.